So what do you see happen in, in that specific area um, in the next couple of years? Like, do you think? Uh, so I, I think, I, I, you know, I'm anticipating that I think that there'll be a level playing field and they'll realize you know, that we're, we're crazy, that we're, right, you know, we're making this illegal. We should regulate it because we're losing a lot of revenue to black markets and yeah. that sort of thing. Let the country make money off of this. Let the industry profit from it and the industry can give back to competitive integrity and anti-cheating and all of yeah. that stuff and just make sports betting legal, right? Yeah. I think that should happen. Um, I think it probably will happen. Um, and, you know, meanwhile, we actually have a real business. So, you know, on day one, we knew all of this was going to be a problem. Right? Yeah. The, the, the notion that our skill based platform could be legal in the US, so the one where you bet against your friends could be legal potentially. We haven't launched that yet, right? What we have launched is a spectator platform. What we did was we created the first most comprehensive sports book on esports in the world. Now, we have eight games on it. Uh, we we ha it used to take us six to nine hours to create the odds for one tournament, League of Legends tournament, right? It took a very long time. It was yeah. all paper, pad, scratching, you know, doing formulas, wow. all this stuff. And now it takes us minutes. We've we've automated this. We put it on the cloud. It's all but automated. It's it's very close. It takes us minutes, but we're still a lot of human intervention that has yeah. to go into it. But we're getting better and better at automating it. And um, and we we took this, and we also have some other technology that we're building. And we we went to. You know, we said like we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get past this uh, regulatory and liquidity issue, right? Because no investor is gonna want to touch gambling. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't want to touch the space because it's just so sketchy. So we went out and, and found a partner. We looked at uh, some of the best, biggest gambling companies in the world, and Tab Corp by far was the best because they're a twelve billion dollar publicly traded, very transparent wagering company. For the last ten out of eleven years, they've been rated the most responsible wagering company in the world by the Dow Jones. And where, we they, where are they out of? Australia. They have over 3,000 physical locations where people can go in and, and bet on oh, wow. horse racing and yeah. sports and all that stuff. And then another 3,000 of, of like pubs that they're in, so 6,000 plus yeah. locations. They're across Europe, uh, oh, sorry, across the UK, and they want to grow their core business. But, <clears throat> but you know, they, they know that it's, it's hard to grow this business, and, and they look at esports and they think, wow, this is it's a great opportunity for us to grow outside of the markets that we're operating. Plus, you know, these guys, meaning us, we have the DNA, we have the community, we're putting all of this together in a great offering. They, they thought, like, let's do a deal. So, so we did a deal with them. We became their global esports partner. They invested in our seed round. Um, they invested in our Series A, um, and they have been uh, an amazing partner for us. They, they, they opened up their licenses, so we're licensed in the UK, we're licensed in Australia, yeah. New Zealand, Ireland, um, the Isle of Man. We have more licenses coming, and, and meanwhile, we're building other products uh, at the same time.